Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are doing well. Hey, today we're gonna be talking about all things making money with snow, all things subcontracting, and how to keep your rig moving for as long as possible to make as much money as possible out there when it's snowing. All right, before we jump into it, this video is sponsored by FuelCred. If you guys want to learn how to save over $600 with the federal fuel tax credit, stay tuned, we're gonna be talking about them later and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Let's jump into it. So talking about all things subcontracting, the reason for this video, hopefully a little timely, we have a huge storm going over the Midwest right now. Maybe that'd be on this side, depending on the camera. And then we also have another huge storm going through the East Coast, where from the Midwest, like four to eight inches on the East Coast, I've heard anything from four to 18 inches. Talk about a spread there. So here's the deal. A lot of you guys are new in business. A lot of you guys have your first truck, your first plow. You bought a snowblower. Maybe you're younger, you're 15. You bought a snowblower and you're looking to do some driveways. I'm getting a lot of questions, a lot of DMs, a lot of emails, people locking in contracts here last minute. A lot of you guys buying the commercial contract off of longpreneuracademy.com. Appreciate the support. So here's the deal. Let's talk about making money. Now, subcontracting out is something that's also new to me. We've been commercial snow plowing for over five years now. Love it, have been making a killing at it. Uh, thanks to so many of you and my friend Mike Fidel teaching me the ropes. We've been doing residential snow blowing for 17, 18 now years. Crazy, okay? So we've been doing snow for a little while. We are not the guru, but we've learned some things along the way. Well, here's an interesting thing that was going on with my business here just in the last couple of months. We had four commercial accounts and we had about 20 residentials. Not a bad route for me and another guy that keeps us busy for about six, maybe eight hours. Here's the deal though. There's some room there. There's some bandwidth. There's some capacity that we're not utilizing where we wanted to make more money. About a month ago, I reached out to two different folks. One of my friends named Tyler. A lot of you guys know Tyler, uh, TC's Lawn Care. And then another company that we actually subcontracted contract for is a big boy outfit. It's a bigger company about 30 minutes west of us. So the scenario was I wanted to keep myself moving with the plow and the truck. We have this big expensive piece of equipment and I want to make as much money as possible. Well, here's the deal. Snow removal and snow plowing is kind of a, an all hands on deck thing, right? They want to get as much work done as fast as possible. It's not like lawn care where you can schedule it out for five days a week and have your route. Snow is a, it all dumps on us all once and we got to get it cleaned up in 24 hours, maybe 48 hours max, right? So subcontracting out, let me give you the spectrum and to answer that question really quick. What are we making for a plow truck and a, a good setup with a good driver? Anywhere that range is going to go from $65 an hour to about $125 an hour. That's what I'm seeing out there. By the way, you guys want to do me a really helpful, uh, you know, quick thing here. Maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are getting for subcontracting and maybe like your city or the state. By the way, nobody's gonna know where you're at or you know what your business is. So don't worry if we all talk about numbers. That's the best part about YouTube. Nobody else seems to talk about numbers on any other YouTube channel besides Mike or my friend Jonathan. So leave me a comment down below. Help out the community, would you? And maybe thumbs up the video if you're enjoying this. Uh, but what are you guys getting for a snowplow rate? Why the spectrum of 65 to $125 an hour? Well, it all depends on skill, your experience, how efficient you are, what your setup looks like. Let's talk really practical for a quick second. Let's say you have an old Chevy 1500 square body. It's a four by four, but it's a it's kind of a lighter duty truck. It's old. Maybe have just a regular old like seven or eight foot straight blade on there. That's an efficient setup, but it's not going to be as efficient as somebody with a, a Mac Daddy, you know, Boss VXT or DXT and a 250 or a Chevy 2500 with a Duramax and blah, blah, blah. This truck is only going to be so much uh, as efficient as the bigger truck with a nicer setup. Hence the spread of that 65 to $125 an hour. When talking about uh, what we're making for uh, our friend and then also for the other company we're working for, we're at $75 an hour for the larger outfit. And that's actually taking care of the apartment complex here that I live at. So one time I came home after the first snow event, and this isn't a dig or anything at these guys. They, they're doing an amazing job. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of driveways, huge condo complex, right? And so I came back and I was already done with my route. It was about six hours. So I reached out to them and I said, hey, I'll subcontract out after the end of my route, come over, help you guys out at an hourly basis. They said, fantastic. I said $75 an hour. It was my first time subcontracting and reaching out to somebody. What do I know? I reached out to my friend, Mike. I said, dude, they want to hire me out as an hourly subcontractor. He said, what'd you get? I said, 75. He said, ah, you're probably worth more like a 90 to 125, but hey, 75 is better than nothing. Plus you live right there at the uh, site because once we're done, literally I'd park my car in the garage or out front, obviously, and I just go upstairs and take a shower and go to bed. Anyway, my other friend, Tyler, uh, we're at $100 per hour for a subcontractor rate, which is pretty fair. Now we crush it. I did four of his sites in two hours. So if he's paying me, let's say 200 bucks, 
he's billing out four or five, six hundred dollars. It's a great rate. And that's why you're gonna see a lot of folks subcontract out in the winter with their equipment and their setup. Talk to you guys about some other ways to make some more money. Maybe you don't have a huge plow, maybe you don't have a huge truck. Let's talk about that here in just a quick second. Before we do, to get back to fuel cred really quick, if you guys have not seen our video that we did a year or two ago talking about how you can take advantage of the off-road fuel use tax credit, that's a lot to say. You guys need to check out that video that we did last year. Long story short, we're all gonna be doing our taxes here over the next 60 to 90 days. If you guys don't know, cause I didn't know, is that there is actually a fuel tax on all fuel that you pay at the pump. However, if you use it for off-road fuel use, i.e. lawnmowers and equipment, you do not have to pay that tax, even though you already paid the tax on the fuel, you get that back as a fuel credit, a tax credit on your taxes. Not a deduction, by the way, not to get confusing, but an actual tax credit. So if you take all of the fuel that you used all year, that you paid federal fuel tax on at the pump, and you tallied that all up, the average is saving about $600 with the Fuel Cred app. You can download it on Android, you can download it on iPhone. It's a small fee to get the report and the form. And you know what? It's one of the easiest ways to put two, four, five, six hundred dollars, depending on how much fuel you obviously used this last year in your pocket for your business. I'll leave a link in the description for Fuel Cred. You can check them out. I'll also leave a link for the video that we did last year, uh, or maybe two years ago now, talking about it in detail and more specifics, but it's something that we do all the time with our tax return and it puts some extra money in our bank. All right, so let's talk about a couple other quick ways and we'll wrap this up to make some more money subcontracting. <sighs> By the way, you guys see the, uh, the cold breath there? Hey, thumbs up the video if you guys are enjoying this. I'm sitting in my garage, it's about 40 degrees in here. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about other ways to make more money. Let's say you have a plow on a truck and you're between 65 and $125 an hour. Fantastic, maybe you guys are getting more. I'm gonna read those comments and see where you guys are at. Awesome. But let's say you don't have a plow or you don't have a truck or you don't have that setup. A couple things I can recommend. Number one, you. You can still subcontract yourself for another company and shovel. You can snow blow. And I know maybe you'd wanna do that, maybe you don't wanna do that. I know it's cold, but you know what? $35 an hour versus sitting around at home doing nothing still sounds pretty good to me. Maybe you can join the shovel crew for another company and go work with them. Alternatively, maybe you want to jump into somebody else's truck. Maybe they have another truck, another plow on it, right? And they have another setup. They just don't have another driver. Well, maybe you can jump in that truck and make 30 to $45 an hour and you get to sit in a nice warm truck and go around town plowing parking lots. Not a bad setup. Let me know what you guys think about that. I know tons of friends that do that or they operate a skid steer or a skid loader and they go do condo complexes for 30, 40 dollars an hour. Fantastic. So you can always go on the shovel crew. You can always go plow in another truck or run a skid loader for somebody else at a large apartment complex or condo complex. Happens all the time. Also, let's say you've got two guys or five guys or 20 guys part of your company and you're figuring out how to keep them all moving. Again, there's so many of the bigger guys in the bigger companies that will pay top dollar, 20, 30, $40 an hour per guy to have them shovel, uh, plow, uh, lay salt, all that other kind of stuff. So here's the deal, just to go back full circle. My bandwidth, I was at 50% capacity before we started the season. And I'm like, hey, I need to make some more money doing this. We need to keep me and my guy Rob moving as much as possible. We wanna make as much money as possible, duh. So what did we do? We reached out to kind of bridge that gap with subcontracting. Then we added four new commercial sites in the last month, thank God. Uh, so now like, the capacity is kind of there, and now we're a little over capacity, over committed, but I think we'll be able to still get everything done, everything done in about 10, 12 hours. All right, lastly, just to kind of wrap this up, is talking about uh, salting. So a lot of you guys uh, get paid to go on out and take somebody else's salt rig out and go lay a couple tons of salt through the different parking lots. Maybe you're subcontracting out for 20, 30, 40 bucks an hour for that. What are you guys doing for just salt rod subcontracting and in somebody else's truck? Leave me a comment down below, show me some love. That's another great option, by the way, if some of you guys are in those transition states like Nashville, Tennessee, to Virginia, to just kind of like that, that middle line of the country where you kind of get those ice storms but you don't really get snow. Here's the deal, a lot of the bigger outfits have the bigger accounts, the bigger bandwidth, they've got the equipment, they've got the salters, Sometimes they need the labor, right? There's no ego going to work for one of those guys for 20, 30, 40 bucks an hour spreading salt uh, when an ice storm comes through the, the mid section of the, uh, of the country. Happens all the time. I know a lot of you guys do that. So that's what I got for you guys. Helpful video, hopefully. Uh, I'm giving it my best here. Uh, we're doing this in one take, so hopefully you guys enjoy it and appreciate the content. If so, shoot me a big thumbs up. Nobody ever made videos like these back in the day. Well, let me take that back. Stanley Dirt Monkey made a bunch of snow plowing videos that were really helpful back in the day. 
I'm just doing my part to kind of pay it forward. We are not the gurus. We do not have it all figured out. But I'll tell you what, we're making money. We're making more money doing this, just like I wanna see you guys make some more money out there as well. If you guys need subcontractor agreements, check out launchpreneuracademy.com. Okay, it's a shameless plug. It's a new resource we just dropped. If you are hiring subcontractors or you're becoming a subcontractor, have quality subcontractor agreements in place. The company that I'm subcontracting out for, for my complex at $75 an hour, I had to sign their subcontractor agreement. It's just common sense. It's good business. Keeps everything super kosher. It uh, don't don't blur lines with friendships out there. Don't don't take those friendships for granted. Make sure you're running your business as professionally and legitimately as possible. All right. So that's the rates I got for you guys. Leave me some comments down below. What are you guys getting for a subcontracting rate? Do you guys subcontract? This is my first year subcontracting. We've already made an extra probably thousand bucks subcontracting. I'll take that all day long. It's a thousand dollars we never would have had. And I know we all want to catch up on sleep in the winter, but you know what? When the snow does fall, we got to get out there, we got to work, and we got to make that money. At least that's my MO. Amen? All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Short and sweet. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we we'll look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one.